so today I'm going to show you a way to do the coordinate grid. So the coordinate grid is actually a grid that actually has a an it's like a, it's a the perpendicular shape. So we have x and y coordinates. And also I'm going to show you some other things that I will go through in this video. So in this video, I'm not on my computer right now. I'm using a grab piece of graph paper because that's what mostly everyone would use, and that that's easy way I could draw everything. So uh, the things we need is a ruler stick, a pen, and a pencil, and then the and make sure that's all. And graph and paper because uh, it's a little more better to use, especially for mathematical purposes. So for example, um, so I'm gonna, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to use uh, the ruler stick to actually draw a straight line, uh, and also eventually one of these squares that is half a centimeter. So yeah, that's actually you can measure. Yeah, so you have to you can you can plot things for you know the ruler stick itself. But I'm going to draw it first. First, we're just going to draw it. So after you're done making your uh, your corner grid, it's time to plot numbers. So virtually, so this is the negative side, which is this part, and this is the positive side. Uh, virtually, this is y and this is x, which as usual. But virtually, when you want to plot something, you need to know which is x or which is which is another. So we should we to represent the point. We're going to use a you know, a letter. So for example, a equals to three by 2 uh, in the parentheses so 3 is x and 2 is y so x comes first to remember this you have to think about x comes first before y so originally so 3 comes first and then 2 comes next so originally the y is this and this is x so we're going to need to find this, and this is the quarter. So, we, so, qua, so qua, this is the quadrants. So before that, I will show, show you the quadrants. So this is quadrant one. So whenever you're doing a quadrant, you need to put like a Roman numeral, <coughs> a, a Roman numeral. So quadrant one, quadrant two, and this is actually quadrant three, and this is quadrant four. So we should have these Roman numerals in this case. So we should to explain where is it. We should to explain where is a three by two. Actually, we need to know what quadrant it is also and, uh, we, <coughs> in this question. So actually, a three by two is going to be in quadrant one because these are all positive. So three and two are positive numbers. So I'm going to plot it here. So three by two, we should plot here. So, uh, so now we, you can plot things out in other places, like for example, originally in the places. But originally, in the, the next thing, the question asks you to actually plot the reflection. So, reflection is that originally, it's like a, what, what you know when you use like a reflection of yourself in the mirror. So, originally, the reflection is the reflection originally uh, across the, the x y axis or the y axis. I mean, so this is uh, across the y axis, and, I mean, across the x axis or the y axis. So, eventually, your reflection across the x axis it will go down, and your reflection across the y axis will go side by the two side. 
So eventually we're going to do a first a reflection across the y-axis. You also use reflections to form shapes, for example, triangles, squares, to a, a shape, and you can even find the area of the shape also. I'll show you how later. So eventually, so the reflection of three by two is minus three uh, by two. So eventually, there's uh, wait a second. So we need to so we need to know what problem it is first before doing this. So the reflection of uh, you know, three by two is we're going to do it across the y-axis. So it will be minus three by two. So eventually, the, uh, the, this is it will be entering quadrant two. So eventually, the, the, now we could even do a reflection across the x-axis again. So eventually, you know, so I, I might form a rectangle or a square. I'll see this. No, so eventually, this is a minus three by. So so eventually, this is a point B. I'm going to call it. This is a point A. So point B is uh, point B is. Uh, is uh, minus three by two. So version minus three by two. Now we're going to do a reflection across the y, uh, the x-axis. So eventually you go down. So version minus three by two. So in this case uh, it's uh, going to be minus three by minus two. I mean, say so this is point C. So that means. We should go to our archive here. We should go and put C equals two minus three by minus two. So this is so this is x and this is y. Uh, y. Okay, let's go back to our board here, and so we're going to do this one more time across the x axis, the y axis. And we say eventually, so this is three by minus two. So so this is point D. So we're going to put that in our archive here. So point oh, I went too low. Point D equals to um, three uh, three uh, positive three by minus two. So eventually, uh, this is uh, in quadrant four. I uh, maybe you can see it very easily, but this is in quadrant four. Oh, he's going to stop focusing. Okay, so this is in quadrant four. So eventually, uh, so eventually quadrant four, we're going to do this. So you can tell the location number. So point A is in, uh, point A is in the quadrant one. Point B is in quadrant in two. Point C is in quadrant three. Point D is in quadrant four. Okay, let's focus back. So now we can make a square out of this. So I'm going to get my ruler stick here. And eventually, uh, we're going to make a square out of the point A, point B, point C, and point D. So we're going to start. So I'm going to just connect all of the, these are straight lines. So we're going to connect them. It's like connect dots. And also I did a project before, like, that you can make a rabbit out of points. So that is a, you can do anything with points, actually. So you can... Here, so we're gonna connect point C to the B. Point B to A again. So this is uh, looking like more like a rectangle right now, and the A square. So actually, that was my nice. So now we're gonna find the area. So and then we're gonna find the perimeter. Perimeter. Since this is a rectangle, we can predict. So we're gonna actually do one, two. Three, four, toward the side. And one, two, okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. For this side. So that means that visually four times six. I'm going to go to I'm going to focus here. So that means four times six, six equals to twenty-four. So the area is twenty-four uh, square squared units. It's, it's, it's 24 units squared. So it's 24 units squared. You can call it, so originally, okay, so the answer is 24 units squared in this problem. Okay, so originally you can find the area. The parameter is easy. So this is 4, this is 4. Uh, so originally, so this is, so, four, so originally since in a rectangle, the side, uh, the 
these two sides are parallel and these two sides are parallel. So actually, so that means that we could actually, so these two sides are symmetrical. So, so this is four, this is four that means. So eight plus 12, so six, because this is six and this is six, so eight plus 12 equals to 20. So, so uni the units. You can even place this, like, for example, this is a, 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 like, for example, John is traveling this many miles, which is, so that means that he's going to go across the whole city. How many units, how many miles he would travel? Because one block equals to uh, a mile, one block equals to a mile. So, basically, if you think about that, you can actually use it, like, between miles he's going to travel. So, that means that... So actually, and also you can say that for the area of this area is 24 units miles squared. So there are a lot of methods you can use which, uh, for doing this problem. Subscribe to my channel, like this video, and share this video with other friends on the internet. And so this is Kusudas Lessons, 2015 by Kusudas. So thank you for watching this video. Bye.